It's me again, kids. Hi. So everybody, go find your Bible if you don't already have it next to you. And I'll give you some time. do de do de do Time, time, time. Okay, are you ready? So here we go. Repeat after me. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I can have what it says I can have. This is God's Word speaking to me. I love my Bible. for Christmas? Christmas is in six days. It came along quick, didn't it? Yes, it did. Well, I'm sitting here in the sanctuary beside the manger scene because we're going to be talking about, of course, Jesus and his birth. So you can just look at the manger scene as I read you the story in Luke chapter 2, okay? At that time, the Roman Empire, Caesar Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. Now, a census is kind of like they wanted to count all the people that were in that area so everybody would go back to their hometown that they were born in. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All returned to their own towns to register for this census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. So they traveled to Bethlehem. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, his fiancee, who was pregnant by this time. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born and she gave birth to her first child a son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. So an inn is kind of like a hotel and all the hotels were filled and so the innkeeper said you can stay in the barn for tonight and he gave him some blankets and stuff I'm sure and that's where she had Jesus and Jesus was born in a barn but he laid in the manger. In, in little blankets and swaddling clothes. You do remember last week, we talked about the angel that, the angel Gabriel, the angel Gabriel that came to Mary and that came to Joseph. And what did angel Gabriel tell them? He told them that Jesus would be born by Mary and that Joseph was to take his wife Mary and marry her and have Jesus as his child. And so that's what they did. Let's read in Luke 2 verse 8 it says that night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby guarding their flocks of sheep suddenly an angel of the lord appeared among them and the radiance of the lord's glory surrounded them they were terrified but the angel said do not be afraid for i bring you great tidings of great joy for everyone today in the city of david there is a savior born and he's Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign unto you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. Suddenly the angel was joined by a heavenly host of other angels, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth, and good will toward men. And when the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were amazed. But Mary kept these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, 
It was just as the angel had told them. So I want to read a little bit in John chapter 1. So in John 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and it already existed. He was with God, and He was God. The Word. Who is the Word? Jesus is the Word. So it's saying Jesus the Word was God, and He was with God. Um, he created everything there is. God created the whole universe. He created you and he created me. And he created Jesus whenever he was born. Nothing that, ex that existed he did not make. Life itself was in him. And this life gives light to everyone. So who is the life and who is the light? Jesus. Jesus is the life that lives inside of us. He's the reason we wake up in the morning and we can breathe and we can walk, walk around and talk to people. Jesus is the reason we're here and he's the reason for this season, right? Yes. And so it says that he is the life and he is the light. The light shines through the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. So if Jesus lives inside of us, we have the light inside of us, right? So what does that mean? It means that we are able to be like Jesus and be the way Jesus was when he was here on the earth. What did Jesus go about doing? The Bible says he went about doing good. Whenever he grew up, he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. So we have Jesus living inside of us. We have that light inside of us so we can go about healing people and um, giving out goodness. So this Christmas, when you're with your family, give out goodness and some ways you can do that is you can help people cook as they get ready for the Christmas season. You can give people gifts. You can even give coloring pages that you colored for people and write them little notes on there. That's giving out goodness. And you can pray for people as well. And so this Christmas, we're going to strive to do that, okay? Because we remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. He lives inside of us. He is the light that shines in the darkness. We'll see you next week. Hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And if you want notifications, you can ring the bell.